We're going to check the life jackets today. You have to check the condition of the belts, the buckles, condition of the retro reflective tapes, seems okay, belts and buckles are okay. Check the condition of the whistle, connected properly, the lights working fine, the expiry dates of the lights must be checked, the vessel name and port of registry must be marked clearly, IMO symbols clearly marked at the storage areas. Donning instructions should be put up in the common places like alleyways. The vessel must carry at least two oversized life jackets as well. On some vessels, all life jackets might be designed for oversized persons. You must check the text written on the life jacket. If it mentions Solas Chapter 3 as amended by MSC 20181, it means that this is fit for oversized persons up to 140 kgs and chest girth of 1750 mm. The oversized life jackets must be distributed as per the ship safety plan but also make sure that if there is an oversized person on board, the life jacket in his cabin should not have any weight restriction. If the vessel has a child on board, additional child life jackets are needed. Additional life jackets must be also kept at the manned watch stations like the bridge, engine control room or forward life raft station. Gangway life vests must be used and these must also be checked. We're going to check the immersion suits now. Check if it is in a satisfactory condition, light is working properly, the expiry date of the light, whistle should be attached. Check the condition of the body line, seems good. Check the retro tapes, name and port of registry clearly marked, donning instructions are given clearly. For those without inherent buoyancy, check the condition overall. The zipper should be moving freely. The zipper should be waxed regularly. If there's a child on board, additional child immersion suits are required. They must be pressure tested by shore facility once in three years if the vessel is less than 10 years. If more than 10 years, additional checks are required as per flag state requirements. Immersion suits should also be located in remote locations like bridge, control room, forward life craft stations as per the safety plan. All ship staff must be thoroughly trained in the use of the immersion suit and should be able to wear within 2 minutes. 